Good morning students. Welcome to Gyan Nikitan Girls School. Today I have come up with a summary of saving the Kharial unit 9 from your Kulmohar. The writer Ramulus Vitakar is an Indian wildlife conservationist. He works primarily with amphibians and reptiles. He lives in Chennai, Tamil Nadu. He is the founder of the Madras Snake Park and the Madras Crocodile Bank Trust. This narrative was written by his wife Janki Linen, but it is Vitaka's account of his attempts to save the Gharial and its natural habitat. This is a report on the writer's efforts to breed gharials and endangered species of crocodiles in captivity. It opens with an anecdote describing the writer's encounter with a mother gharial in the mid-1980s. Children, the meaning of anecdote means a short, interesting story. Though the mother was guarding her eggs, she didn't seem to mind when the writer collected them to be hashed and bred in captivity in a bid to increase the dwindling Kharial population. After sharing a personal experience, the writer details the dangerous predicament in which this variety of crocodile is caught and the efforts being made by wildlife experts to extricate it from the situation. The natural habitat of the Kharial is the rivers of India, Bangladesh and Nepal. It looks different from other species of crocodile you can see in the picture because of its long snout with narrow jaws lined with sharp teeth. The male uses the snout to catch fish and the noise to attract females and to fight off rivals during coating. While the male kharyas fight for territorial rights and the female fight to secure safe nesting Places. The mother gharial makes a deep nest hole on banks of rivers and lays up to 50 eggs, covers them with sand and keep watching from the river to safeguard them from predators like jackals, mongooses and henas. When the eggs are hatched, the mother extricates the babies from the sand and leads them to the river. The male, which was on standby, moves in to help with parenting. Gharials live in rivers and eat fish, but with rivers being damaged or diverted, in name of technological development for human benefit, they have been forced to break away from their groups and to survive in precautious conditions. As a result, their numbers are diminishing at such an alarming rate that they are in danger of facing extinction. Fortunately, steps are being taken to encounter the situation. The Indian government and the UN set up Project Crocodile in 1974 that studied the lifestyle of crocodiles to breed them in captivity. But there have been setbacks too. Riverbanks in the protected area have widened, flushing out the Kharials into the 
tributaries flowing into the sea. Their snouts have been caught in fishing nets, making it difficult for them to breathe. As both humans and gharials depend on the river, their fight for survival becomes even more severe. Severe means difficult. But people are willing to do what they can to save the gharial by protecting their habitat, the river. So thank you children. In my next video, I'll be giving you, discussing with you all the question answers and the exercises.